a sweaty Betty right now. <laughs> I have the AC turned off right now because it is right next to me and the sound is just so loud. So please bear with me as I bear with the heat and let's just get right into it. Hey everyone, it's Lucy from Sticker Guru and today I am taking you on a vlog journey through my day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and turn on your notifications. Also, at the end of this video, I will be talking about my B-Day sale because tomorrow is my birthday. I am turning 29, so tomorrow we are having my birthday sale because it is my birthday. If you are an Office fan, I hope you got that. We are celebrating my birthday with my annual B-Day sale. And wow, I am really, I'm sweating. It's like 90 something degrees here in Boston. And not only is it really hot, it's also very, very humid. So as I'm sitting here, I feel like I can feel the sweat just like gathering. So so right now it is 10.38 a.m. I've already done a few things, like I had my coffee, I took my meds, um, I'm like what did I even do this morning? I have extremely poor short-term memory, um, or is it that I have very good short-term memory because I feel like I'm very good at cramming for like tests and things. Anyway, getting distracted, I've written down the things that I need to do today, so First off, very important, I need to vlog, so that's what we're doing. We can check that off the list. Um, that also reminds me that I need to edit the video afterwards. Um, there's a, a lot of things to do, y'all, and I'm feeling slightly overwhelmed. I feel like this whole week I've been feeling very razzle-dazzled, just um, frazzled. Frazzled, razzle-dazzled, strazzled, just all over the place. Um, as you can see, just like a, a mess. But it's okay because everything always comes together in the end and that's what matters. It's just the final product. So it's fine. We'll be okay. Things that I need to do. I keep telling our wonderful biz ops in charge of biz ops, Rachel, that we, or I should say I, will do these tasks. And I keep forgetting, but like I put it on the top of my list that I will review a sales page for one of our upcoming e-courses for her so that she can get started on making that. I feel so horrible because I just like, I'll be like, oh yeah, that is something that I need to do. And like here it has been written down, but yeah, I still forget. So do that. And then we have a lot of designing that I still need to get done, which yikes, that's what really frazzle dazzled me because Lisa and I have been working on designing literally all week. Um, we had originally planned for these designs to be done like last week and that did not happen. So then we were like, okay, let's just like panic design on Monday and get it done. Um, which obviously did not happen because today is Thursday and I'm still designing. So still working on that and I think one of the biggest things that I talked to Lisa about is that we need to set more realistic expectations for ourselves um, which means probably tripling the amount of time that we give ourselves um, yeah we I feel like yes technically in an ideal world I can finish these designs and the time set for us but realistically, I probably won't because we just have so many other things going on that require my attention. Um, life also happens, things get in the way, um, things that we can't control also happen. So realistically, I think we should be better off if we triple the amount of time that we predict for ourselves. That will probably leave me being less frazzle-dazzled, but that also requires me being patient with myself and like, that means scaling back a lot of what we do as well, which um, I don't love to scale back on things. I, I want to like scale forward on things. So that's kind of tough. It's like hard to balance the two things, like wanting to do so much, but only having so many hours in a day. So yeah, that's my little rant about designing and all the projects we have going on. But I am hoping to finish up not just hoping, like I, I gotta. I gotta finish up our designs um, for our new kits that we're releasing tomorrow. 
pretty much done, but like I still need to do a few more things that don't take a lot of work, but they take a lot of time to do. It's just like really tedious. And then I have to make the product listings um, and the graphics for the listings. They just like things that I don't know when I'll be able to get done, but like will have to be done at some point before tomorrow's sale, which starts at 9 a.m. PST. So those are the main things for today. I also, I took two rest days for working out. So I didn't work out yesterday, I didn't work out the day before, which I don't love because working out for me is a really helpful way to regulate my moods and keep my, um, like, keep my endorphins and dopamine up. Um, and also helps me focus. Uh, I do have ADHD, which I've talked about, and I feel like that's been a, the most effective way for me to focus outside of taking medication. So I don't love not working out. And so I'm hoping to also get a workout in today, even if it's just like a quick 20 minutes, I just want to like do something. My, my body feels restless, my mind feels restless, um, and it's like a good way for me to just calm down. So I want to do that. My husband is also out on a business trip. He's, this is like his first business trip away, I think since we've been living together. So like, I, I feel like I'm gone all the time because I go to San Diego to um, work at home with Lisa quite often, like pretty much every four weeks or so. So I'm gone quite a bit, but this is the first time that he's been gone while I'm here in Boston. And I mean, he's literally only gone for two nights, but I'm just like, okay, perfect. While he's gone, I can stay up and work on stuff. Um, and I can also wake up early, which I thought I was gonna do today, but I did not. I set my alarm for 5 a.m. and I didn't like wake up. I must've slept through my alarms. I wake up till like 8 a.m. So um, that didn't work today, but maybe tomorrow. So hopefully I can just like, really chug away at everything while he is gone because when he's here i i want to spend time with him as well otherwise um if it's just myself like i'm gonna be working like i will be working and not feel guilty about um just like spending all my time on work and the last thing that i want to do is finish the fourth season of stranger things i was always too scared to watch Stranger Things because um, I am afraid of like horror and things like that um, and like it just seemed too scary of a show for me but I recently started it maybe like a week or two weeks ago I started watching it and I'm big fan I love it this season four season is so good and I think I'm two episodes from being done so I want to also finish the season today the flip through portion so I'm going to flip through and share with you all of the new releases that we have for this week we have three new kits coming to the shop one of which is a reformat um, from last year so let's just go ahead and get started this first one is called enchanted it's a fall kit and here's the deco sheet. You get lots of florals and deco. Next is the journaling kit, which is two pages. The journaling kit has replaced our B6 kit. So this is what the journaling kit looks like. It comes with a whole bunch of stickers. Lots of florals, lots of watercolor. And then moving on to the full page four paged full weekly kit. This is in rose gold foiling, which I think turned out really good. So here is a close up of the full boxes. And then the quote boxes, life starts all over again when it gets crisp in the fall. Super cute, I love the dog and there's also a cat here. 
Love that. And then here is the headers. You get three variations. And then here is the bottom washi. Next, we have the boxes page. I love these watercolor boxes. Super pretty. And then we have the functional page, which comes with your date covers, some floral, some watercolor swatches, and then some sidebar stickers, layering stickers, which are foiled, really pretty, and then some scalloped circles. So that is Enchanted. I love this kit. Love the colors. Moving on to the next kit. It's a Halloween magic kit. Um, it's called Potions 101. There are some Harry Potter references in here. Um, so here is the little deco sheet that's available. Then we have the journaling kit. And these washi strips are sized for the Hobonichi cousin. And then here is the weekly kit. We decided to go with hollow foil since we haven't done a hollow kit in a while. So here's a little close up. Very spooky, but also very cute. Then we have the headers. Again, I love that hollow. It just looks so good. And then the bottom washi. The foil is like a garland. And then we have the boxes page. And lastly is the functional page. Okay, so that is Potions 101. I absolutely love this. I can't wait for our Halloween foils to come out. We're going to be releasing them next month in August, so definitely stay tuned. We have a couple of Halloween collections for $2 Tuesday coming. Okay, next is Midnight Fairy Tale. We have this deco sheet, and this is a reformat from last year, so... We don't have a journaling kit for this weekly kit since there's no florals in this kit. So we figured we would just skip on the journaling kit and just do the weekly kit. I love the quote box. It says, own your magic. I just love all the butterflies and the bats. And this one is in gold foil. Here are the headers. And then the bottom washi. We have the boxes page. And then finally we have the functional page. So that is Midnight Fairy Tale. So those are the three new kits that we have for Lucy's birthday sale this weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little flip through. Let us know in the comments which kit is your favorite out of the three. I'm gonna say my favorite is probably Enchanted for this week. I love the colors in it, just everything about it. Super cute. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog and for joining me as I go through my day. So here are the birthday sale details because I know you've all been waiting for that. We are doing 29% off tomorrow because I am turning 29 and we will have tiered freebies. Every single order will get an exclusive sampler, foiled sampler freebie, of course, um, as well as um, freebies for orders over $100, $150, and $200. And then I will have all the details down below, so that way you can also reference that there. And I know there's so much more. Okay, we have grab bags. <laughs> we have our foil grab bags, and then we also have our flawless grab bags. So those are also available at a very steeply discounted price. 
um, and then we will have three new kit releases. I'm really excited about these. We are bringing back Midnight Fairy Tale because I love Midnight Fairy Tale. It's like my favorite kit and I bring it back every single year. So really excited about the new releases and I really hope that I'm not forgetting anything but if I do I will put it down in the description so that way you don't have to rely on my very poor memory. That is it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for following me along my day and um, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video with Lisa and Lucy. And then I will talk to you guys very soon. Okay, bye.